Welcome to the Bold Analysis, ladies and gentlemen. Things are getting thick. And of course, Chinua Achebe once said that things are falling apart and cannot meet. There is a question that is in Twitter. Where is Oscar Sude? And where do you think Oscar Sude is no longer being seen within the circles of her? What do you think is the reason why Oscar Sude is not seen anywhere? I want to say this. He has gone missing months after President William Ruto was actually seen to be bring him, bringing him closer. The first parliamentary group meeting by Kenya Kwanzaa was actually attended by Oscar Sudi, and Oscar Sudi was in the official presidential jet. A week later, the Cup Senate member of parliament was also seen in yet uh, in another gesture of coziness with the president when he accompanied William Ruto to go and inspect and uh, oversee a project in Ethiopia, the Safaricom uh, project, extension project in Ethiopia. And after that, remember, these were personalities, or rather these were leaders that were so uh, special and they played a very special role when they were talking about um, defending the president of the country at the campaign trail. So at the campaign trail, they were very active. But when the president got to power, they are not being seen anywhere closer to the man of the nation. So the question is, what is happening? Why are they not anywhere close? Arun Chariot has remained the only leader that is talking about Kenya Kwanzaa and is defending Kenya Kwanda. Kenya Kwanza, oh mate, Kenya Kwanza, Kenya Kwanza, and that special role, they're only doing the two of them with a lawyer tan blogger. Maybe not call names, but you can make your guesses. So it's interesting developments that we've had in this country that the people that were defending William Ruto are now quiet. We've had several uh, aspects that many people are talking about. One, there were critics on government picks and the permanent secretaries. There were critics from the political divide. Um, there were also a suggestion that despite the man who was seen to be uh, having a lot of interest in the Kenyan politics, he's not been spotted anywhere campaigning for Kenya Kwanzaa, even in Bungoma, neither Bungoma, Ilgeo Marakwet, or, um, or even in central campaigning for the UDA politicians, even though, of course, um, I think Oscar Sud is one person that has, was never seen mostly in central Kenya, so we cannot expect to see him there. But he's gone missing. What do you think is happening in the house of UDA party or in the circles of President Ruto? I can tell you for a fact that there was a clip that Sudi went, I think I think it was just talking about this Baringo issue at one point, and he was saying that to me order, I think even in Wasingishu, during a, 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 public, a public event said that Kona Tatoka, and he was talking about the county commissioner. And he was seen as a man who was wielding more power, was a man who was really seen to be a very powerful person in William Ruto presidency. So the question of where is he is a question that, of course, is very viable, especially when you talk about Oscar Sude. So ladies and gentlemen, I want to humbly request you to subscribe to our channel, click the notification bell, and also like our video. When you like our video, through that, you are promoting this channel. I'll take you through latest developments that could be behind the silence and absence of Oscar Sudi around William Ruto's circle. People are a little bit getting restrained from attacking Uhuru 
and Matiangi. The only two politicians, I don't know that all of them are politicians, that are still talking about Uhuru, Matiangi and Raila, are two people. Miguna Miguna, Wudinyando, and Rigadi Gashagwa. All, those are the only two politicians. The party has said, no, let's stop the blame games, let's work. So, leaders like Oscar Sudi who are only thriving in attacking Uhuru and Raila. That was, you could only see them coming into the fold when they're attacking the two. That was Oscar Sudi, Johanna Ngeno, and um, who is that? The other one from Nakuru, Kimani Ngujiri, if I'm not wrong. Those three. And um, I'm just speaking facts because, of course, they were all over in the social media at the campaign trail. Even though at that time, it was maybe convenient because they're lobbying for the votes. But now, the president, William Ruto, seems to have realized that speaking so much and attacking Uhuru Kenyatta is no longer the order of the day. It doesn't add value, and in fact, it, in fact it's even hurting the government. Or it makes government more unpopular. So, with that kind of restraint, um, maybe that has gone against their wish. Their position could be that at Tukishapata, but that seems to have changed. And you know, President, and but they have always said, you know, President went to stay in, uh, moved in the Narok home. The one again comes from that place. So I think even President, former President Uhuru Kenyatta's MP is the one who used to attack Kenyatta family and so on. Now, Ruto's deep state is simply locking some elements out. And the Oscar Sudis in my understanding, could be the people that have been pruned out of William Ruto Sako. Because you know, the closest to people William Ruto now are the cabinet lot. That is uh, Chirchir, Murkomen, Florence Bore, Simon Chilugui. And the State House team, Felix Kosge, Nanok, the Devin D and the team. This to me and and and, and Farouk Kibet. I don't know that people say he's overrated, but I think he's I think he's that man is just to the stature. So um that those two layers seems to have locked out um some familiar faces like Oscar Sude. And what would that be? There could be their competitive interests. These competitive interests are emerging from the plum jobs within the government. There are many appointments. You know, people have always, I've always said, if you look at people who supported uh, the president, Kenya Kwanza, Adam Duale is in cabinet. Um, I, I think also, who is this the person? Um, um, Alice Wahome is in cabinet. Murkomen is in cabinet. And maybe... Some leaders were expecting that when Ruto gets it, maybe they were also going to benefit directly in some way or not. So they are not getting maybe their share. Could be. I'm, I'm just making that as, and that is why they seems not to be. They have lost the much of that uh, enthusiasm and the, the 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 zeal to defend the government of the day. They have left their fate. Let it be, for what it be. So that that could be. That is why they've kept quiet because president is coming under sharp criticism from the opposition front. The only people that are calling the press conferences are the leadership of the parliament. Uh, that is the Kipujumba, not Kipujumba, is it Kimani, Ch Kimani Chungwa and the team, the parliamentary group. They're the ones that are talking. But those who are defending the president outside, like Kip. Oscar Sudi would actually call a video, do a video at night. And that night video will be done to show the way President Ruto is not, uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta is this and that. Huh? Now they're in government, there's position criticism, but they're not anywhere. Could it also be that um, there are cracks of you know, interests that are not being served? And I want to talk to the Kami generation. They, it is absolutely right to withdraw from that public defense of the president. I want to talk to the because anything 
anyone from the Kalenjin nations comes out to say is triggered as is speaking, it lacks the merit of the point. It actually seen as just defense, defense. It will lack the merit. If you're saying we are getting this right, mostly it will be either okay, you're saying this because it's homeboy. So it's advisable, they also have to so that a sense of entitlement. What was the same after five years that eh, hey, hey, but to do a to do a party So we don't like. You need they need to retract with the drove and of course do it, even if they enjoy power, but they enjoy it with some sort of some decorum. That's my point. And that's my point on absence of Oscar Sode. Let's head to Bungoma.